Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is my unboxing of the Tamiya 148 scale Tiger 1 early production kit. Uh, this is my entry for the uh, group build on ISM in honor of uh, Cohen C. Michael. Uh, he's a big uh, Tiger 1 fan, aficionado, and so there's a group build on ISM and uh, this is my kit for that. Um, this is the first time I have built a Tamiya 148 scale tank, so this is a new experience for me. Uh, a little bit out of my comfort zone uh, doing a tank, but in honor of Michael, uh, here you go. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this kit, seen it before, but this is the first time I'm actually looking at this kit in detail, so you just follow along with me uh, if you're also interested in this kit. Um, I will be posting pictures of the sprues and whatnot over in ISM uh, later. Alright, so nice artwork here in the cover, nice little black border. Uh, here on the side, you got one of the color schemes here, this is for the Russia and Summer 43. Uh, tells you what colors you need, which is great. This right there in the box. On the end cap, just same artwork um, as the cover. And then on the other side, in Japanese, you got one of the other color markings, the German Gray, uh, Summer 43, Russia, uh, what color you need, and so forth. Alright, so let's open this up. Nice top loading box. Mm -hmm. So, first thing greeted with here is uh, lots of sprues. Well, one other thing, if you pick up the box, you feel that's kind of weighted, and there's a reason for that. Um, Alright, so, first off, you got eye on the top, you got the uh, top of the hull. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to open all of these up. Uh, I just want to open up a couple of them. Now, all these Tamiya bags, they all come with staples, which is good and bad. Um good that you don't have to cut them open bad and that all these staples get scratch up your plastic uh, so let's take a quick look here at the details of this kit uh, in case anyone is wondering why I'm doing a 148 scale versus the traditional 135 uh, mainly for space uh, there's only so much space I have here at home and two uh, most of my other kits which I do with airplanes are 172nd or 148 and I guess a little bit of the OCD in me wants to keep everything on the same scale. Alright, so you do have some of the tools are molded in. Uh, like the bolt cutters, the shovels, and the axe. Um, see how well I can do picking those details out. And you got the grills. And the plate, back plate there. Alright, so that's one. And then you got another bag here with multiple sprues. Uh, this looks to be all of the wheels and all the uh, links. I have to take these staples off anyway so I don't scratch anything off or poke myself later. Um, so here you have the wheels, you got the tracks, and the back side. And then you got the other, uh, are these the same? Yeah, these are two of the same, two of the same sprues. They had them crisscross, I guess, so they could fit better in the bag. Uh, let's see what else was here. Uh, oh, you got a little bit of the uh, poly caps in here in these little bags. Let's keep them in there so I don't lose them. Another bag of sprues. is the turret portion of it so you got the top of the turret a little bit of detail there uh, the, the links in the front on the inside and let's see the last screw that you have here is some little details that go on the outside out there you got the gun mantle you got the cables side skirts you got the two-piece gun barrel there and the reverse side 
And then what's the other one here? Uh, a couple of little more details. Cable. It looks like a hatch, and I'm not sure what that is. Uh, and the last piece in here, which is what makes this a heavy box, is the, uh, it's the main body, the chassis, uh, which at least to me, it kits are made out of metal. So these are metal, as you can hear it. It's got a nice, good, hefty weight to it. It gets, adds to a little bit more of the realism. Uh, so I see a copyright 2004 to me. Uh, Alright, all right. first time I'm working with this, comes nice well protected little plastic wrap, that's the uh, cardboard tour, and lastly what we have here are the instructions and the decals, and the decals again, same thing with staple bags, to remove these staples before I scratch up the decals. There you go, nice simple but basic little decal sheet a whole lot simpler than what I'm used to when working with aircraft get out to the side and lastly uh, your instructions pretty standard uh, looks to me uh, standard uh, to me style tanks uh, instructions for the tank and cover this in uh, 10 So 13 lucky steps is what they have, and then they got one, two, three, four, five, like five different painting options and decal options uh, that you can do here. These all Russia Summer 43, Russia Summer 43, uh, Summer 44. All the rest appears to be uh, 43. Two different paint camo, three different paint camos look like, or two. Uh, then you got your gray and your uh, the uh, the dark yellow sandy color. All right, so that's what comes in the box. So I'll take some pictures here for ISM and then start this build in the next few weeks. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.